6.30 is the best time on a clock, hands down. Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Fate Gear, a band I've done before. It's an all-female Japanese power metal band, and I've, I've never quite been convinced by them. Um, but they're good at what they do, if you see what I mean. So there's a song, funnily enough, right here, called Winds of Fall. Now, this is a cover I could find for Winds of Fall. The problem with sometimes with the Japanese music is it can be hard to get the right information for it in the West, because you'd be surprised to hear I don't speak Japanese. Um, and they have a different way of sight. So all the information underneath this video you have to decipher what it is it's saying. Um, however, I believe that this was on Fake Gear's first album, this song, as well as they've, I think that they've put out a couple. There's another one called Nocturnal Moon. And they were on the first album. And what they've done is they've re-recorded them. I don't know I, how, what they were like on the first album, maybe. But it's first album, you know, you get what you can afford production wise, etc. So then you become more popular and you think, oh, that was a good song. Let's let's make it into the song it always should have been, shall we say. I have not heard this, um, so we should just probably get on, in with it, on with it. So Fake Gear are like a steampunk power metal band, all female, Japanese. Yeah, that's probably all the words. <laughs> all the words, not necessarily in the right order. So let's jump on board with this. I think I. you probably kind of know what you're going to get. And you're probably right. Ooh.
yeah, that's what I thought we were going to get. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, bouncy, fun, charge along, power metal, Japanese lady band. I mean, it, it's 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 kind of the problem is when I'm watching this, but this this, and I don't usually do this, but in this one, it really stuck out in my mind. I was kind of thinking about other things while it was on, if you see what I mean. I don't mean other things like my shopping. I was thinking how strange it must be when you have to record the video that none of your instruments are actually doing anything because they're not plugged in. So they all just, so you've got to do this on the keyboards doing and nothing's happening. You know, nothing is happening. It's just like play back the, the, the music and, and play along. Everyone does it. I'm not, it's, this isn't a criticism, but I was just like, wow, how strange it must be to have to do it. And the drummer has, um, deadheads on the drum kit so those are so they're, they're black because they've got these rubber black mats on the thing and it's just so it doesn't make a noise and i've played with deadheads and they are awful things to use because they basically take all of the all of the bounce all of the, the all of the feedback out of the drums and it's like playing it, it it's like playing well it's like playing a rubber mat you know but without it being even bouncy you think of rubber as bouncy but it's just like if you play with deadheads uh, too much, you end up with really sore fingers. Uh, at least I do anyway. That's not important right now. So, so they're all they're having to do this probably about 20 times for the cameras. And uh, yeah, it's awful. And like I say, that's what I was thinking about while watching it. So I haven't really said anything about the song, have I? And I'm not sure what to say because it, it's exactly what I thought we were going to get. It's very well done. They're really good at what they do. J Japanese record companies have an idea and say we're going to make a steampunk steampunk power metal band i mean their instruments how cool was that guitar right and they say right we'll go all in on this so you it, we need you to look like this and that th this is the theme and this is what kind of and they manufacture this 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 thing and it's really really competently done um it kind of for some reason fake gear have never and still does not quite convince me i sort of bounce off it a bit and it's it's not that they bad at what they're doing or anything like that it clearly they're really i couldn't do i couldn't play that you know enough to, it, it, they, they know what they're doing and and it, and it's competently put together and everything there's just something a, a little bit too artificial about fake gear that makes me just kind of bounce off them however i'm probably looking at it a little too closely um if you want to just enjoy some power metal from a nice japanese uh, girl band it's perfect isn't it enjoy it bounce around have a good sing along if you know the lyrics uh, or just do some kind of weird english version if you don't know the lyrics um you know, and enjoy it for what it is. Go and see them when they play in London once every three years or whatever. I'm not criticizing them. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I'm saying for me, it just doesn't quite work for me. Um, yeah, so that's what I think. And I like Japanese bands. I mean, you know, everyone who watches this channel knows that I like, like, you know, Ning and Isu. Um, and, and several other bands. Um, oh, let's not go through them all right now, but Fake Gear, for some reason, I just bounce off a little bit. Mm. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm sure fans of Fake Gear will. <laughs> some of them might even be polite about it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.